Now, some students get confused about the difference between accounts receivable and accounts payable, so I made this quick little video showing you the difference between accounts receivable and accounts payable. So let's say you buy a cell phone from Phones Incorporated with a credit card. This means you get the item now and are promising to pay later. So if you were keeping track of your own personal financial records, for you, would that be accounts receivable or accounts payable? Because you had to pay that, for you this creates an accounts payable because you must pay it in the future. So what would the company selling the phone record? Well, this creates an accounts receivable for the company selling the phone because they have the right to receive the payment in the future. And then let's quickly go over the terminology that's also a little bit confusing that the textbook uses. If you see the terminology buying on account, that means the customer is buying now and promising to pay later. So that's buying on account. If you see selling on account in the textbook, that means the business is selling something now and allowing the customer to pay later. And that's called selling on account.